Hello, my name is Marie Contreras and I am the proud owner of Marie C. Pet Care. Nothing is more important than my family and my pets are part of the family in my house. For the last five years, I have dedicated myself to the world of pet care because I'm a pet lover at heart. I consider myself an environmentalist, an animal rights activist, and a staunch supporter of the scientific research behind proper animal care and welfare. My videos focus on pet care and tips for having healthy and happy pets. I hope you stick around and enjoy what I have created for you today. In today's video, I'm going to discuss everything you wanted to know about dog kisses and licking. Have you ever wondered if dog kisses are really kisses? Or maybe we just taste good? Well, I did some research and here is everything I could find about dogs licking us. Why do they do it? What does it mean? Should we let them? What can happen when they lick us? Here is the scoop. Why do they lick us? And what does it mean when a dog licks you? Is it love? Well, the short answer is probably yes. Dogs appear to lick people and sometimes other dogs and even cats they like or love. It is a sign of affection and is common. So calling the licks kisses is appropriate. They can learn this when they are puppies and their moms are grooming them by licking them. As puppies, they lick their moms to get attention or to be fed. Some dogs lick more than others. A dog that doesn't lick as much may not have learned it as a puppy or they may not like it as much. Our reaction to it also reinforces licking. When a dog licks us, they get attention, whether we like it or not. They are still getting attention by licking. So a bored dog that wants your attention will also lick you. If they can get to your face, that is often the preferred spot, but they will lick hands, legs, or feet if they can't get to your face. Our faces often taste the best because of the food that we eat. Also, wolves in the wild will come back to their pups after hunting and regurgitate food for their pups and the pups will lick mom's face for bits of meat. So it is thought to be instinctual to lick faces. Sometimes we smell terrific, like when we have eaten something that smells good. Put on lotion or a personal favorite of most dogs, fresh out of the shower with wet bodies. These are times that we become irresistible to our dogs. Dogs may lick some people more than others too. A variety of reasons can cause this. The dogs may have a particular fondness for this person, or they may smell terrific or the person has reinforced the licking behavior with a positive reaction in the past. Some people have great energy too. Dogs are susceptible to a person's energy. They can tell who will be a friend and who isn't by our body language, tone, and approach to them. Energy is vital to dogs. Plus, dogs can smell our hormones. So we actually smell better when relaxed and happy. So to a dog, stress actually stinks. There is also a status involved when a dog kisses. The dog offering the lick shows respect and deference to the person or other dog receiving the lick. Some dogs will lick obsessively due to anxiety. This is much less common, but it does occur. Animals cannot learn while in a high state of anxiety, so the anxiety must be treated before you can train them out of the obsessive licking habit. Consult your veterinarian for help with anxiety. The top reason that dogs lick themselves is allergies. If your dog is licking its paws or creating a hot spot by licking their leg or their arm, any of their limbs, have them checked for allergies. I can't tell you how many client dogs I have had that didn't believe their dogs had allergies until they had checked everything else and then finally went to the vet to have a hot spot checked out or sore feet tended to and the veterinarian told them it was allergies. Dogs often have allergies and it's usually straightforward to treat. That is the first thing I would check out if my dogs were excessively licking their paws. They are itchy and so they, they lick them. If your dog is licking their lips a lot or has foul breath, have their teeth checked. Bad teeth make their mouths hurt and they will lick a lot from the discomfort. They may have cavities, gum disease, or an abscess tooth leading to a variety of other health issues. Once the abscess gets bad enough, whichever side the tooth is on, their, their face will swell up. So if you see that their face looks swollen on more on one side than the other, definitely get their teeth checked out. So should we let them lick our faces? That really depends on you and your pet. Doctors often recommend that people with compromised immune systems should avoid being licked. That is why therapy dogs are not allowed to lick people. The membranes in our mouth and nose are also more permeable, so any germs present are transmitted more easily through the nose and mouth. So if you have health concerns, avoid being licked on the face. For healthy individuals, it is usually considered safe to allow licking. The one caveat that I have is that any dog can pick up worms. All it takes is being around fleas or other dogs with fleas. This is pretty much every dog. 
So after seeing so many of my customers get worms, I won't let any dog lick my mouth or face. I don't want even the possibility of getting worms from a dog. Plus, most dogs lick butts too, so I say no to face licking. It is a myth that dogs' mouths are incredibly clean. They are not. They are full of bacteria as are human mouths. That is why dog bites can be some so infected. Giardia and staph infections can be transmitted from dogs to humans. If you know your dog has a taste for garbage, roadkill, or poo, say no. It's gross. What can you do if your dog licks too much or you don't like it? Ignoring them is considered the best way to train them to stop, stop licking. For example, your dog comes to you and licks you. You would then turn away from your dog and not give them any attention whatsoever. Or you basically turn your back and look away. If that's not working, then get up and leave. If you say no or push them away, they are still getting attention. If your dog is licking because they are seeking attention, they got what they wanted. You will need to get everybody on the same page for this to work. This can often be the hardest part of the training. If some of your friends or family encourage the licking and you are ignoring them, the dog will quickly learn not to lick you, but they'll go and try and lick everybody else that allows it. People are much harder to train than dogs. I've had this problem with jumping. My dog never jumps on me, but everybody else that pets her when she jumps up is fair game. And she never knows who that's going to be, so she greets everybody as though they're going to pet her. And unfortunately, most of them do. I haven't given up on her though, but my friends are stubborn. So keep in mind that your pet will only stop if you get everybody to agree to ignore them when the licking starts. Some breeds or particular dogs lick more or less than others. Just like some people want to kiss more than others, not all dogs are kissing bandits. It doesn't mean they don't love you. It can just be a difference in personality. My Border Collie is a licker. She is also an attention junkie when it suits her. She wants all the attention when guests visit. My Chihuahua never licks me or anyone else. I know they both love me. The Chihuahua is always near me. He snuggles me on the couch and in bed at night. He sleeps at my feet when I am working in my office. He loves to chill out in my lap. He's just not much of a licker. The Border Collie will give me kisses and paw at me when she wants attention, and then she'll disappear for hours at a time enjoying her space elsewhere. They have very different personalities and show their love differently which is perfectly fine with me. If you enjoyed this video, nudge the like button. If you would like to see more like this, consider subscribing. If you would like to read the blog or check out my new book, I'm gonna leave links to them in the description. Thank you for watching.